Okay, really quick video on photo montage. A simple, easy, uh, and fast, and you want to be able to process as many photos as possible without having to make edits to each individual photo. Uh, if you have to make edits, I would suggest doing them in Photoshop, getting them to size, color, whatever you want. Get all that done, that work done first. Don't do that kind of editing in Premiere Pro. Um, I always recommend right here that you put your photos and your music in folders and there's really two ways to make a montage. You can take your music and bring it in and make your montage that length for your video. Um, but mostly when somebody asks you to do a photo montage, they send you a lot of photos and you actually have to make the video length based on the photos that they give you. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I've got all these photos, I've got 140 photos for a friend of mine here, and I'm going to select the first one, and then I'm going to shift select the bottom one. So I have all of them selected, and I'm going to drag them right here. So I have all of these, and that gives me a 12 minute video. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change the length of all of these. Um, right now they're set to five seconds per um, photo. That's the default. Uh, and you know there might even be a way to change that default before you even bring them in. I don't know that. Uh, so right click and you're going to hit speed duration. Um, and this is going to give you your speed duration for each individual clip. So this really works because I'm, I'm bringing in all of these photos at the same time. They're all the same length. And so when I change this to four seconds, which is I think the, the quickest you want to transition from photo to photo um, without it feeling too fast. If you go less than four, it's way too fast to process the, each photo. Um, if you go, you can go five or six, that's okay. Just really depends on the length of video you want and this will change that. Now, something very important is this uh, beautiful guy right here. If you don't click this and hit okay, each video, or I mean each picture, well, well, you'll get this. And you can go in and you can right click and you can uh, get rid of that. Uh, that's fine. But let me show you the quickest way to do it. I'm going to select everything, speed duration, and four seconds apiece, and ripple edit. Same thing. Okay. Boom. They're four seconds apiece. Now we have a nine and a half minute video. Um, and uh, that's a lot better. You can go with less photos if you want a shorter video, uh, but I still wouldn't recommend going less than four seconds per picture. Okay, so the next thing that we want to do now that I've got that is um, I personally like to do kind of a fade in, fade out, depending on the video. If it's fast and fun, um, you really could um, do something um, where it snaps and you want to edit these onto each drum beat of the music you have. That's a really smart thing to do for editing. Um, but for something like this, this is Memorial, um, I like to uh, do a nice fade in at the beginning and a nice fade out at the end. Um, so I just lengthen the, the front and back one. Um, and I'm going to do the same thing here. Uh, and if you don't know what I'm doing, I'm uh, hitting Command. Uh, uh, this is on a Mac. And I'm clicking. You get a little plus mark right there. Um, and that gives you these the keyframes. And uh, I click there, and I click there, and then I dragged it down. So that's your uh, opacity. So it's going to now fade out nice and slow. All right, so now that we have both of those, Stop texting me, people. Okay, I'm going to select everything. I'm going to drag it right to the beginning. You can give a little bit of time at the beginning if you want. Um, uh, the next thing I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring in my music. Oh, no, I'm not. Uh, I'm going to show you another amazing trick that you have to know if you don't already. Um, we want to create that transition between every one of these photos and you could click and drag, click and drag, click and drag 139 times and that's a pain. Um, but this is where that default uh, set to, as default transition comes in. What you're going to do, you make sure everything's selected, you go up to sequence and you hit apply default transitions to selection. 
boom, every single clip now has, between each one, it's going to have a cross dissolve. And you can change that transition before you apply to all of them. There you go. You've got yourself a nice cross dissolve. You can turn that into a, a rotate, uh, make it uh, expand, do whatever you want it to do, and then go up to that sequence, apply to fault transition to selection. Uh, you can also apply other transitions there, but this is fast. So that's done. Uh, that means now I have 140 pictures with a nice fade in in, a nice fade in out. It, each one of these pictures has a cross dissolve in between it. And now I'm going to bring in my music. And this is the order that my friend wanted these in. Uh, so now all I'm going to do is a little quick DJing here. Uh, whereas this song comes out, it's the exact same thing I'm hitting. Uh, the Apple key, different on PC, and I'm doing two of these, and I'm just going to drag that down like that, and oops. now this fades out as this fades in, we're going to do the same thing near the end here, um, I want to see this, and I'm going to do one of these, ooh, ooh. you got to see the little plus mark there. There you go, and then that fades out. And you can mess with that till it sounds good. And this will fade out this song as this one fades in. Sounds just like, you know, DJ the dance kind of kind of deal. So there you have it. And now we render it and we're done. So I took all my pictures, I put them in a folder, I dragged them, um, I right click, changed the speed duration to four seconds, made sure to click the, the ripple effect on that. Then I selected all of them, I went to sequence, apply default transition to selection, added it to all of them, added my audio, and in a matter of minutes, I've just finished a nine and a half minute um, simple photo montage for a friend. That's it. Have a great day.